So, it's the last month of the year. Huh, the last month of the year. And these are all my last final pickups of the year. Technically, I have like three to four days left of the year, but I don't think I'm gonna be buying any more games left. If I do, it'll be thrown into January. 100% for 2019, this is still going to be continuing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So, let's get into it. Maria! I'ma be that n n n n nail in your coffin Saying that I saw him I was talking down the reload So you can say your petty explanations I don't have the patience Before you even say it, I know You look like a your pride or your ego Talks with the mean, no That is not the way I get down And look at how you lose your composure I'm not done yet! Right, so, let's get into literally everything as much as possible. So, let's, I'll get into that next. <laughs> I got here from GameStop a PlayStation Vita uh, chargeable, not chargeable, well, it's, it's chargeable, yeah, you, you can charge while playing it. But basically, I got it because uh, I have a Vita, I know I barely use it because the whole I feel like it's gonna break in a whole bad memories of the PSP. So realistically, this is the reason I wanted to get it for is because you just you know just put your Vita inside. You can attach it, do whatever you want to do with it, and just kind of play your Vita on it. Be like an actual you know hold, and you can like charge it here, and it just fits in perfect spot. So you know this keeps it in check. Unblock it. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. And then there's a little slip switch here. Keeps it from moving. So, anyways, yeah, that's for the Vita. Um, I just, you know, of course, I don't have to. I actually don't need that bag anymore, but it could be helpful, really. Okay, stop falling. Just to stay there. So yeah, got this beat up thing for four dollars or something. GameStop. Um, let's see here. So besides that, we have here is uh, Black Yoshi, rest in peace from Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS, uh, because that was my main color I used for my main Yoshi. I do main Yoshi in Smash Bros. Ultimate and Wii U, and you can kind of see it in the corner being played, that is what is playing. The sound is not on, of course, but uh, I mean, it kind of is, but you can't hear it at all. So. Yeah, anyways, Yoshi's my main from, uh, one of my mains, one of my mains from Wii U and Ultimate and 3DS as well, but, uh, I just got mad that it don't have the black Yoshi, the main color I use in the game, so that's personally what I'm mad about, but got black Yoshi, I, I don't remember how much I got it for it, but I think it was like five, four dollars, I don't remember how much cent, but I got it on the cheap because I'm an employee there, so GameStop again. Uh, by the way, a lot of these are for... Um, employee Appreciation Days, which is basically in December for us. Um, I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I'm just recording, and I think it's like around 3. Actually, should we check really quick. Hold on. Okay, just making sure. It's almost 3. So, what should I show next? Um, I guess we can do the Pops. So, starting from the lowest of the pops i think we have here is though so GameStop was doing a buy one get one half off sale for pops and so i got myself gabamon which i've been seeing at my store for a while now including king mickey from kingdom hearts 3 and you know king mickey doesn't look that great i've seen better mickeys like the steamboat willy mickey but they didn't have it anymore <laughs> but it looked pretty good but i you know of course i'm a big kingdom hearts fan and uh I got it. So, King Mickey and Gabumon from Digimon. Of course, big Digimon fan from Generation 1, 2, and 3. I was kind of into 4, which is on Frontier. Didn't really care about Data Squad, and I don't care about Fusion or whatever it's called. But the first three, I loved 100%. So, there's those. But I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, 
because the main pops I wanted to get for sure, because I had I, I was trying to do it like twice, so uh, is Agumon and Sora. Agumon again from Digimon uh, and Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. I, this is not my first Sora. I actually own another Sora from back in the day. I think I got that one like a year ago or so. I got that Sora last year, basically the same time this last year. And that Sora is based off Kingdom Hearts 2. This one's Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora. So I'm not sure if I'll show it really. I don't know. But yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the Sora. That's the one's like basically his main like thing from Kingdom Hearts 3, like pose. And of course, Agamon, which I've never seen Ty or Matt. I've only seen the Digimon. And then on here, it's like, I actually have seen all these, but except for the Monster Inc. Sora. And for Mickey, it's like other ones I really don't care about. <laughs> so that's all my pops I got. Um, because you know, love Kingdom Hearts coming out literally less than a month from now, and uh, love Digimon for sure. Love Digimon. Um, next, well, okay, I think I spoke about this before, but I wasn't 100 sure. I had I got myself uh from my coworkers a 20th anniversary 2K19 shirt. That that's literally I not even into 2K. I just got it. Uh, it's a free shirt, so I was like, yeah, you know what, free shirt. So. Thank you, GameStop. Thank you for liking yourself. Alright, next, let's get into, um, trying to see what I, ah, I kind of forgot I left it over here. So, um, I wanted to wear the hat, but, um, I didn't show this hat off that many times this, this year, and it's kind of like fitting its, uh, you know, its, its durability. But this is another hat I got, and I like this hat regardless. <laughs> so, this is a Spiral the Dragon hat. Um, I actually 100% really love this hat. I got it from, again, the main GameStop I go to to get shirts and hats. And uh, this is the Jordan Landing uh, location, if you don't know, in Utah. And I just love the hat. It, it matched my shirt of Sora, of, Sora, of uh, Spyro. I think I showed it off in one of the pickups video before. I'm not sure. And I just love the hat. So, love it, love it, love it. Um... I, don't know, I love hats. This, 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 this year I've been getting a lot more hats than I have gotten ever. Um, trying to think here. So, uh, um, I know you can see some of the stuff, but not yet. Hold on. Okay. All right. Here is a controller. So this one was kind of out of the blue. Um, going with the employee appreciation day. Not day of like second day, was it? No, I think it was the third day. I don't want, yeah, it was the third day, a Sunday. And I saw this and I was like, I had to buy it. It, it was like guaranteed for sure. This is a Gears of War 3 or 3, 5, 4, 4, 3, 5, 4 thumb. I can't even fucking. I can't even think. That's what I'm trying to say. This is a Gears of War 4 Xbox One, not Elite Controller, but one of the. Controller. I think this is the Crimson controller or something and this looks pretty freaking sweet. I know you guys can't really tell There you go. You can kind of see from there. This is really sweet and I'm big into Gears of War um, and I don't really want to use it. It works. The controller works perfectly fine But I don't really want to use it um, I I don't even know what name of this exactly is but I've learned that there's actually been a few other variants of Gears of War related controllers and this is one of them, but I just, I, I love the controller. This, this looks freak, ew, ooh, sorry. This looks freaking awesome, not gonna lie. This looks beautiful. I have another controller. It's not, I don't think it's Gears of War related, but this one does not work, unfortunately, but I love it regardlessly. Um, I want it to work someday. I'll figure it out, but again, not workable. Um, this, on the other hand, this is workable, but I don't want to mess with it, and I have that controller and another controller that I can use for the meantime for Xbox One. And I have that one if I ever learn how to fix it. And of course I've got this one, but again, I don't want to use it, it looks so beautiful. I'm um, not sure if there's any batteries. Yeah, there's no batteries inside, so. so. Um, again, I don't know what to do with this controller just yet, but it's, this controller is a beauty. Like, literally, like, if it wasn't with this controller, which I got it for like $23, by the way, I, you know, for sure. 
I probably would have got the volcano shadow, but uh, they never have that controller used. I mean, when they do, they do, but it's like it's gone immediately because everyone wants it. If I, if someone saw this, oh, they want it. Trust me, trust me, they would love to want it. Um, kind of running out of place to put stuff in. Don't worry. All right. Um, next, let's do. Just making sure. Okay, making sure. Let's do. Some games, right? What you got here is. Oh, like I can hear that fire was leaving from the fire plant. It's the Smash Bros. Ultimate intro. I can hear the music. Uh, talking about Smash Bros., we got the here is Ridley Smash Amiibo. Um, I'm, I still collect the Smash Bros. Amiibos. I'm just slowly doing them. Now that because the Ultimate's out, I'm looking for Wolf and Inkling now, and eventually in the future, Young Lee, Ice Climbers, and the rest I didn't wasn't in the last game, like, you know, including, including um, Snake. And all them because uh, you know I need them. So there's that. Uh, Ridley. This one's actually kind of common to find of the ultimate Smash Brothers wave of amiibos, um, which I can just again you get Inkling and Wolf to complete the first wave of the Smash Brothers ultimate amiibos. And this one we got here is from Best Buy, a game that I actually am paying for. <laughs> so the thing is with this one is that um. I got this one on Black Friday, a, a day of, because we also got a brand new television uh, for Christmas and for my mom for her room. I haven't set it up yet, but uh, yeah, it's like the day of, no, the day after Christmas. So, you know, it's just I haven't set it up. I haven't even used the Poke uh, Ball, Poke Ball Ball Plus or anything, but I'm excited to play it one at some point. Including, I already have Pay uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for last month, so. Now I got Pikachu and it's complete. So. Alright. Talking about more Smash Brothers. I got here is the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Pro Controller. This is completely sold out. I got it because I was wanting I was trying to get the Smash Brothers Ultimate um bundle controller steelbook thing. It was sold out. It was sold out. So the only way I could get this controller was to get it separately, which cost a teeny bit more because my employee it kind of evened it out anyways. So that's the controller. I am not parting with with it. I just really wanted it. And now that I own this controller, I feel like I want to go get the Splatoon 2 and the ZW Chronicles 2 Pro Controllers, which look really nice for both of them regardless. So I have the Pro Controller itself. I have the Smash Brothers one, and now I come to want the other two. Not sure there's more than that, but those are the ones I know for sure. So, uh, let's put that up there. All right, now this one, <laughs> I ha I got this one because it's a childhood dream of me to literally have one. I've always wanted one, 100%. Big story about this one. I haven't uploaded the video yet. Uh, I still need to edit it in the future. I don't even know when, but. Every time I ever went to Toys R Us, and my final time I went to Toys R Us, I recorded my, you know, my reactions and all those videos and all that. And basically, I always wanted this exact thing. That, this, or the Dragon Dagger. I'm talking about the Ranger Morpher. It could have been anyone, but I found the uh, Green Ranger slash White Ranger Morpher. Which has, of course, the power coins of the Dragon Zord and the White Tiger Zord. <laughs> um, I know that they just released the uh, official Master Morpher, but I mean, I'm traditional. I, I the best Morpher looks great, but I'm not into the gold thing. I'm not. Um, I'm into the whole normal-looking power coin-looking Morpher from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So. Of course, I love this 100%. I mean, this, this, they're literally the two favorite Rangers of that generation for me. Um, especially for Mighty Morphin and Dia Ranger, which I didn't know this was Dia Ranger, the White Ranger, for a very long time until um, before Mega Force. I think it was like Super Me Super Samurai or Samurai. I learned the information about this on YouTube. So thanks to like Andre Meadows, Blackner Comedy, and a few other people like covering Power Rangers hardcore at the time. Still into Power Rangers for sure, 100%. I'm 25 years old as recording this, and I'm still into it. I don't think it's a problem, but there's a lot of people that sit through a lot of weirder things than I am. <laughs> That's older than me, or just about the same age. 
but it's fine. It's fine. As long as you're happy, you're happy. And this is something I've always wanted. Always wanted. Always wanted. Um, this, this thing costs like $70. I, because I forget how much. I think I got it for like $50 really because my employee, but this is insane. I can't believe I finally got this. And it was a freaking GameStop of all of things. Like, when did GameStop start getting, you know, this? Like, this, this is amazing. I think they're trying to get inventory for their stores because uh, Toys R Us is gone and they need toys. <laughs> this, this caught me. Um, GameStop, if you keep doing stuff like this, things I want, then I'm going to keep getting stuff like Especially not just games, but like movie toys, collectibles, because I know that's your that's your thing, collectibles. All right, next here. Hmm. All right, next here we got is a special edition. <laughs> um, so I was trying to get it in my own store, but someone else bought it instead of me. So I had to go find another store that had it, and same store that had the Power Morpher, which it was it was not. Employee Appreciation Day it was like a week after, like this around Christmas time. This one was a before Christmas time, before Christmas, like a week or whatever. It said this one was like fifteen dollars, something like that, and it's complete and it's sealed and it's brand new. It's Senran Kungura Peach Beach Beach Splash. I hate saying those things. Peach Beach Splash, no shirt, no shoes, all service edition. Um, again, this comes with the game inside. Um, people thought this would come with the body pillow. It does not come with the body pillow, actually. Um, shoot them up, soak them up. Uh, it's basically it has a Blu-ray, which is surprising to me. A soundtrack. Uh, a code to get some weapons, of course, for sure. A heavy pet card. I don't know what that really means. Uh, and a few other things. But I was like, really? It has a body pillow? I'm just saying, and I realized it's not this one. It's this, the next one, or the one before this. So. I was like, I got this for a really good cheap price, and I was like, heck yeah. So, um, I could not say no to that, and I've seen that several times on my store, so, the same. Alright, next, we have here is some GameStop, um, it's kind of randomly in there, I say it every once in a while, but these three for sure I got from, um, Game Changers on State Street and 3200 South, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, this I got here is a Game Genie. I never had a Game Genie for the Sega Genesis. This is a Game Genie for Sega Genesis. Uh, I had one for Super and NES. Never had it for Genesis. I don't think I have a Game Boy one, which I've seen it before, and or a Game Gear, which I think I've seen it before. So, anyways, yep, got a Game Genie for the Genesis. Uh, next here, and yeah, by the way, the price one's still on here. This is Super Puyo Puyo. Um, is because I don't know the names of these, but it's my very first, my very first Super Famicom game. And I only got it because I can understand English. Yep, Super Puyo Puyo. Or it's basically Puyo Pop, or you can say Puyo Puyo, because the latest Puyo Puyo is called Pe Puyo Puyo Tetris, so. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, let's get it, so that's kind of why. Um, I like I've made a list before in the past, but I don't know where it's at now. Probably somewhere just hidden. I made a p list in the past saying that what games I would want to play that's Super Famicom and Famicom related that I could play without reading in Japanese, and that's not one of them. But it is a game I can't play. This one, um, this one's kind of be hard, but I know certain moves and how to play, and I have the original guidebook. So if you don't know the story about Pokemon Stadium for the N64, and this is the first. Pokemon Stadium from Japan, then you know the story. If you don't, here we go. So the first Pokemon Stadium for us in North America is actually the second Pokemon Stadium for North uh, for Japan. Their very first Pokemon Stadium is basically called Pokemon Stadium Zero for us technically in a way because this game right here has less than the 150 Pokemon you can get at Pokemon Stadium 1 for us, 2 for them. And in Pokemon Stadium 2 for us is Pokemon Gold and Silver, which is also Pokemon Stadium 3 for them. So, I had to get this. This is literally one of the only Japanese games I really wanted to get, and it's very, very, very cheap. Um, and they got it. So. Alright, next here we have a uh, thing. It was, I thought it was to be on sale, but apparently it's, I missed the sale by a day. 
but it's okay, I got it anyways, and I haven't took off the sticker, but whatever. It is, well, I should take off the sticker, <laughs> it's gonna bother me if you can't. Um, it is Dragon Ball GT Super Saiyan 4 Goku statue, and these statues, I didn't think it would go crazy, but they went crazy, and it's hard for me to find, like, the original run of these statues. Good, took it off. No problem. So this is Super Saiyan 4. Uh, we're gonna say Goku from Dragon Ball GT. I don't hate Super Saiyan 4. It just, you know, it was something kind of different. It looked kind of weird at the time, but then I grew to appreciate it. Um, I already see how it looks like outside of the box due to videos, and I'm not sure if we're taking it out of the box anytime soon. But I really want to get this. It was the same that I bought the Power Morpher, by the way. Same transaction actually, but um, uh, yeah, I seen other ones like the like. Uh, Alter Instinct, the masked one, not the false one, um, and I've seen a few others like Super, Super Vegito Blue, but I wasn't interested in that one. I was like, what is wanting like Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, you know, stuff like that. But I got this. The, and the other ones I said, they're harder to find or like sold out, so yeah, I got that one to sit. Alright. Um. Okay, now we can get on to 100% the video games. So, I'm gonna do those ones last if you know what I'm doing here. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's start from random games to whatever games. So first we have here, I got for a dollar, is Star Wars the best of PC. I didn't get this at the Swami, I didn't get this at a pawn shop, I didn't get this at a thrift store. I actually got it from a seller from the Swami that was hitting me up for some games that's in the PS4 section uh, because she was trying to get rid of some stuff and Swami is slow at this time of the year because it's snowing, but it has actually been snowing. Sort of have, but hasn't at all really at all, which is great for me because I hate it. Um, Star Wars Best of PC. This has literally five games in one. It's Empire at War, Knights of the Old Republic, Battlefront, uh, Jedi... Knight 2, Jedi, Jedi Outcast, and Republic Commando. That's pretty freaking sweet. And I know a lot of people would love to have this. I got it for a dollar. Just didn't think about that. That's a freaking dollar. Alright. Next here we have for the Wii. And, and I'm not gonna lie. I was looking for two of these games for a very long time, and I got it within the same month, which is pretty crazy. It made me hype trying to find Joker Kong Kingdom, and uh, Bit Trip Saga, and Mad Dog McCree, but it's not happening anytime soon. But um, after I, one of them popped up on the radar, I was so excited. I'll just say that. So one of them were Conduit 2. Uh, this was actually at Game Changers. I just hardly ever go over there, and I was like, you know, let's go over there, and he actually had it. So. I was surprised. I think it was like a very cheap price. I don't remember exactly, but I was like, yes, I need to get Conduit 2. Um, this one is The Calling. i actually seen this game a few times at different game stops, including my own. I just never really cared about it, and I was like, well, when I'm trying to go hardcore and try and collect a lot of my Wii games, I kind of thought about getting this too anyways, regardlessly, so I got The Calling. Or, yeah, just Calling, but I'm calling it The Calling. Alright, this, this is the game that made me super hyped on how to finish we 100% tried this year even though the year is basically done and I was super excited when I called that game stop not my own game stop I called my own I called a game stop that's in the same state far away from me and called them to see if they had it they had it they had the official case the official manual and I was like is this great they're like yes and I'm like can you please send it over to the store and they're like yes and then they didn't do it for a day, so I called them again, and they actually did it this time. It is Castle Shimigami 3. I know it's called Castle of Shigigami 3. I just call it Castle Shigigami 3. So, I'm not even a joke. It's not expensive. It's just hard to find. I've been looking for this for like two to three years. I'm not even lying. It's just... <sighs> I own uh, Castle Shigigami 2 on the PS2. I don't know about the one, but... um. That's one of the games I've been looking for for the week for a very long time. And I'm surprised I finally found it. Finally found it. <sighs> now I have Dokapon Kingdom and the ones I basically said. Dokapon Kingdom, um, Mad Dog McCree, Sticker Pack, 
and uh, Bitrip Saga. And I think that's it. The main ones left. I'll probably get some random Wii games from here and there, but those are the main ones that's left. Okay, next we have here is Resident Evil Outbreak. Um, this one I got from Game Changers as well. So, very cheap price on a game that's like $30 or whatever. Um, next we have here is Time Crisis 2. I already had three from earlier of the year, I believe, when I went to um, World Game Store. But it was, again, at Game Changers. So, again, thank you, Game Changers. Well, actually, it's just sponsored all the time. So Game Changers is on 3200 South and State Street in Utah in Salt Lake City. Across the street from Century 60 Movie Theater, if you know what I'm talking about. So go check them out for sure. If, you, if you're here in Utah, if you ever want to go to Utah and you want to look up a game store that's actually worth going, they are the ones. Next, we have here is Forza Horizon. The first one for the Xbox 360. Got it for like $7 to the point appreciation and it's something I've been trying to finish my 360 collection. And it's a, one of the games on there I want to get. I know about Forza Horizon 2 beyond 360 by I actually want it on the Xbox One instead because it's cheaper and it's kind of was made for it more. Now I got this one because of I was really excited that Dark Souls Remaster was coming out for the Switch and I haven't gotten it yet. Um, I really wanted it, but I didn't get it for Christmas and um, maybe I'll eventually get it in, my, in the future. But it, it's something I wanted and it didn't happen. But this is the one that basically started it all for me. I didn't take off the price tag. This is Demon Souls. I I know I've been told that this is harder than shit. Like this is like harder than Dark Souls one, maybe two. And I should, don't think about three. Demon Souls. It's the last Souls game of the Demon slash Dark Souls series, other than the Dark Souls remaster and Bloodborne. I don't think I have Bloodborne. Um. No, I don't have Bloodborne. But maybe I should get that sometime. All right. Next here we have is one DVD, one Blu-ray. It is Pokemon the movie I Choose You. Got it for 12 bucks from Best Buy. It's a movie I haven't seen yet. I've seen some clips about it. Pretty excited about it, but you know, I haven't seen much about it. And I know they're already releasing the next Pokemon length movie, but I haven't seen that. And that's the one I really want to watch to, you know, to grow up on. So all right, so talking about uh, the girl that you know was trying to sell me some stuff from the swamp me that's not selling right now because it's slow. She got me, or I got the games from her because she tipped me up with some games. Is Prototype Biohazard Bundle? Um, it had a you know had a okay run. I mean, I have both separately on PS3, but uh, I wanted to get it because it was cheap. Ten dollars, ten dollars. Uh, next one. This is the main one I wanted. Because I never had it and never played it. And people told me it was pretty gay. great. Seven Days to Die. Um, both, of course, it's $20. Of course. Um, but the case was in terrible shape, so I switched it out for a case I had spares of. So, Seven Days to Die uh, for PS4. And it's only 1.8 gigabytes. Wow, that's actually very short. Very, very low on like, a lot of people's lists. So, next, we have here, I didn't take off the price tag or whatever, I got here is Knights of Azor. I've had Knights of Azor 2 for a little bit while now, it actually was on sale before, but Knights of Azor 1 was not on sale and then I finally got it cheaper on Employee Appreciation Day. And um, it was also my buy 2 going free, which helped me out pretty too. So I got it and I have it and it's, it's, it's awesome, just check it out, check out Knights of Azor. Next here, um, a game again. Buy two game free and employee appreciation as well. Tokiden 2. I haven't took out the price tag yet, but um, it's literally the only Tokiden game left I needed to get uh, before they ever start releasing the third one because I needed it. I already had Tokiden. I think from last month I got Tokiden to Age of something on the Vita, and then I had Tokiden 1 Kiwami for a little while. So, Anyways, uh, next one here is Tempest 4000, and yes, the price tag is pretty cheap on it. Yes. Um, Tempest 4000, uh, I just looked like it was fun, and I kind of knew about Tempest, and I was like, you know what, let's get it. It looks, doesn't look that bad, so. Alright, now for this one, I already owned this for the Switch. I bought it again 
for you guys. So I will be let's playing it very soon, hopefully. It is Sonic Forces for the Nintendo Switch. That's no, it's for the PS4. Um, if you don't know, in the year 2017, I was promoting the shit out of Sonic Forces, and it worked. Uh, a lot of got my not saying like it worked, like it was a scam. Like yeah, I hate Sonic. No, I actually love Sonic. Um, it worked like it really did help out my channel. I was just wanting to talk about Sonic Forces, and it was helping me out. Like every discussion, every new trailer, every new screenshots, I was kind of somewhat talking about it, or I was up to date about it. I would upload a new trailer for it, and all the way up to release, all the Sonic Force related videos I was making, including like uh, the Infinite Steam song and mashups of other songs with Infinite Steam, including. Um, me of just the Tale of the Shadow X episode of Sonic Forces was doing pretty well. So I'm doing this one for you guys because I know you guys know I'm a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I'm not the best player in the world or anything, but it, the game was alright. It wasn't the best game in the world. Uh, again, another Sonic game was out that year, Sonic Mania, which I think was better. And of course, it did release Sonic Mania Plus, which I did talk about earlier in the year. Um, but again, I, I really wanted to play this guy play this game for you guys you know sonic forces and don't worry i haven't forgot about sonic adventure 2 hd story let's play i, I haven't forgot about it so the so sonic forces it's, it's gonna come to a let's play near you okay <laughs> and the last one here for the ps4 is yakuza 2 kiwami or kiwami or yakuza kiwami 2 i think it's yakuza 2 kiwami um this is still book edition i don't know if there's another edition or not but i found this at a different GameStop. Uh, when I got the Black Yoshi one, and I think some other thing, I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, The Calling. Uh, I got Yakuza 2 Kwame, and I was like pretty excited that I got it for cheap ass price, because I wasn't expecting it to be on sale and or used when I found it, so. Anyways. Oh, there goes my GameCube games. Uh, for the PSP, this is from Game Changers, I got Tales of the World Radiant Mythology. Now, this has $10 on it, but this is the reason. I got it for way too price. I said I want it, but I would want it with a physical case, like the official art. So, like, okay, makes sense. And when we were checking myself out, we checked it, and then the guy basically threw me a, a, a curveball about the price. And I'm like, sure, I'll give it to you for $2. I was like, yeah. For two dollars, hell yeah! So, I got Tales of the World. This I don't know how much it is really, but I got it for two dollars, and they had it for a price of ten ninety nine. Pretty good. Uh, the last PSP game here. Um, I when I still find PSP games, I don't already have enough. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Five D's Tag Force Five. Yes, five. Um, if you don't know, I'm still looking for Tag Force One case and three complete um because three i think was only available in europe so it's gonna be a little bit harder to find yeah i know so tie force five um i didn't know if i owned this one or four or six so i had to like google search the covers and i really don't have this one because i do have tag force four so i knew i had owned one of them i didn't know which one so yeah tag force five five so. all right next here is Kirby Battle Royale. It's probably literally the only 3DS game I bought. Uh, other than like Luigi's Mansion 3D for like a little while back. But um, yeah, I didn't own this one. It, I thought it was like a mini game and I learned it was a physical copy one. I was like, what? And it's not like a big Kirby game, but it does have a story. And I was like, you know what? I'll throw it in there and try it out. So Kirby's Battle Royale, it sounds like a mini game kind of thing. That's why I didn't really care much about it when it first came out. And now we're on Switch. Oh, the big ones. The big ones. PS4 is big too, trust me. And then the collectibles too. But of course, the biggest one we all know for December. We all know. <laughs> all right, so let's get into this. We have here is uh, SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. I got it at uh, another game shop. It's the same game shop. I got Curry Battle Royale, um, Yakuza Kwame 2, Yoshi, and a few other things at City Board. This was uh, on sale because I was trying to do the whole, um, you know, employee appreciation thing. So, SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. I didn't know I was going to get it or not, 
because I was just seeing what the heck they had. I wish they had Dark Souls Remastered um, used, but they didn't. And I got that instead because that was like the only used copy in the state. I even looked, and then yeah, that's it. Next here we have here is uh, Katamari Damacy Reroll. Surprisingly, not many people have been uh, talking about it because it came out the same day as another game. I'll get into it for a second. And well, uh, I got it. And I haven't opened it yet, but basically, I already own Katamari Yamasi on the PS2 like a while ago, and I just got it for a very cheap price. Because so I was like, oh my god, I think it was like thirty dollars or twenty dollars. I was like, really? Like, it's, I thought it was like a sixty, forty dollar game. But, oh, okay, so I got it. <laughs> Uh, next here we have is Owlboy. Um, Owlboy, of course, was a big contender for Game of the Year of last year, I believe, for indie games. Um, I got it pre-owned, I think, at the Jordan Landing Store. But I don't know what other games I got that day. But, um, no, it, it was the, 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 the beach volleyball, like, edition of the same thing, Jordan game. So, yeah, Owlboy. Uh, Owlboy. So, I know a lot of good things about it, but it's too much to say. Like, the platform is pretty good. Like uh, next one is probably the second biggest release of the month, in my personal opinion. So, we don't want it. It is a Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom. This is uh, a spiritual successor to Wonder Boy, which, if you don't know, Wonder Boy did come up with its own game about a year ago, which I did, you know, Tail Shadow X and I did talk about a little bit. Uh, this is Monster Boy. Spiritual successor than Wonder Boy is a remake of the third game on the Master System. Two second. The graphics look fucking amazing. Look at that. Look at that fucking animation. It's fucking good. Look at this. Look at this. So, uh, this was like, I think, 20 or 30 dollars. I don't remember. I think it was like 40. Let's go with 30. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah. Of course. And of course, I already said it earlier in the video, but I wanted to be a little bit of suspense because you've been seeing it in the corner this whole time I got here is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and you already know I got the controller right there so you kind of already need to get the game yes Smash Brothers Ultimate I've been playing the most this month it's been literally the game I've been playing I've played a few other games from here on out from here and there I mean but Smash Brothers has been the biggest one um I just been trying not to play as soon as I've been wanting to play as soon as I don't want to play because you know the frustration in, in online. Um, I'm weird. I haven't really played much of World of Light. I really haven't. I don't know why, but I haven't. So, yeah, Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, um, honestly, that's it. I, I think that's some like digital stuff I've never showed off. It's been like forever since I showed off anything digitally. I haven't gotten anything new other than the stuff I just showed. Um, I am kind of fixing this area. There was a bunch of consoles over here, so it looks kind of more empty. You can actually see a Grand Theft Auto <laughs> poster. It's actually been there for like the beginning of the time. Just never noticed it. But anyways, um, really, that's 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 my pickups from December of 2018. Um, yeah, so, again, everyone, uh, that's, it's hard to say, but that is it, so once again, everybody, thank you for watching, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and see you guys all for the next pickups video, um, I know when I'm picking up in January, <laughs> uh, don't know what day that's gonna be landing on, but, um, I mean, yeah, I do, but I don't know how many days are in January, but we'll see. We'll see. So once again, everybody, I'll see you guys all for the next one. Have a happy New Year's. Have a Merry Christmas, of course, whatever. Hopefully, you guys got what you wanted. Um, if you want to know for Christmas gifts, really quick, I got clothes. I mean, not really much, like I could say. And, um, yeah. Nothing gaming related was, was any of the clothes, by the way. So that's why I'm not wearing any of them. You've probably seen stuff I've, I've worn in the past. I, this is like work related to shirts, Dragon Ball Z, of course. Fighters, love that game. Top five of the year. And of course, this ha I've had like since the beginning of time. <laughs> so um, anyways, thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you guys all for the next one, okay?
，拜拜。Chaos control.